हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेकेंड लेक्चर इज ऑन क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल मशीन पार्ट वन नाउ बिफोर वी स्टार्ट द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ मशीन्स वी शुड नो दैट इन इलेक्ट्रिकल मशीन्स देर आर बेसिकली टू पार्ट्स नंबर वन स्टेटर एंड नंबर टू रोटर स्टेटर इज कम्पोज ऑफ फील्ड वाइंडिंग्स दैट मेक अप मैग्नेटिक पोल्स टू जनरेट मैग्नेटिक फील्ड लाइक वी सो इन लेक्चर वन एंड रोटर हैज रोटेटिंग कॉल्स टू अलाउ द करंट टू फ्लो थ्रू इट इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड आर्मेचर Electrical machines are basically divided into two parts: rotating machines and stating machines. Rotating machines are machines that have rotating parts in their structure, and stating machines are ma- machines that have no rotating parts in their structure. Now, rotating rotating machines are divided into DC DC machines and AC machines. DC machines are machines that run on direct current and ac machines are machines that run on alternating current now dc machines are divided into dc motor and dc generator dc motor is a machine which converts electrical energy into mechanical energy and dc generator is a machine which converts mechanical energy into electrical energy as regards to fundamental principles both the machines are the same the only difference lies however in the mode of construction the frame of generator as a rule is kept open while that of a motor is kept par- partly or totally closed reason is a generator is u- usually kept in a suitable position it is handled by technical persons and so mechanical protection for coils and armature can be reduced to minimum also it facilitates for cooling inspection and repair on the other hand motors have to work in conditions of dampness dirt inflammable gases chemical fumes and liability to mechanical damage and so protection should be adequate that's why the frames of dc motors are made flame proof semi enclosed or fully enclosed ac machines ac machines are divided into synchronous machines and a synchronous machine synchronous machines is an ac machine in which the rotor moves at a speed which bears a constant relationship to the frequency of currents in the armature winding which simply means that the speed of rotation of the rotor is same as the frequency of the supply in the stator synchronous machines are generally constructed in large sizes small sizes are not economical to build asynchronous machine in the same way induction machines or asynchronous machines are machines in which the speed of rotor is not the same as the frequency of the electrical supply in the stator now in continuation the synchronous machines are classified into synchronous generators or alternators and synchronous motor and synchronous compensator now alternators are devices that like dc generators convert mechanical energy into electrical energy large ac net- networks operating at constant frequency of 50 hertz or 60 hertz rely mostly exclusively on synchronous generators thus in other words the generation generation of electricity at the power plants is done by the alternators only whether they be large power plants like hydroelectric power plants nuclear pa- power plants thermal power plants or small private diesel engine power plants used for peak loads or for emergency a synchronous motor is related to an alternator in the same way as a dc motor is related to a dc generator but in case of dc motor the stator and rotor both are supplied from D- dc supply mains but in the case of a synchronous motor the field structure that is rotor here is supplied by dc mains whereas the armature or the stator here are supplied by ac supply thus it requires two supplies for its working one for the armature mains and other for dc excitation of its field windings a synchronous compensator is a machine which is extensively used for power factor improvement most of the electrical loads are inductive in nature and and hence they draw a lot of reactive power thus we need machines to supply this reactive power which are in our case is a synchronous compensator the 
the term in the also alternators are divided into single phase and three phase in the same way synchronous motors are divided into single phase and three phase now asynchronous machines asynchronous machines are basically divided into induction motor and induction generator the term asynchronous machine is not used more often because normally induction motor is more popular and the induction generator is not that prevalent in the industry but they do exist so that's why the name uh, it, the, they are named collectively as induction or asynchronous machines now induction motor the polyphase induction motor or single phase induction motor is by very comfortable margin the most widely used ac motor almost 90% of the mechanical power used in the industry is provided by induction motor or uh, induction generator if the induction motor while connected to a constant voltage and frequency mains is mechanically coupled to a prime mover and is driven by it at a speed higher than synchronous speed the rotor overtakes the rotating magnetic field and the rotor conductors cut the magnetic flux in the reverse direction thus the power of the machi machine in such case becomes negative and the machine starts supplying power to the supply mains rather than taking power from it and hence delivers electrical energy and hence acts as a, as a generator the reason why induction motors are so so popular is because of its low cost simple and rugged construction high efficiency and good speed regulation that is being a constant speed machine the physical size of such a motor for a given rating is relatively small as compared with other types of motors also such machines are sing singly fed machines or single excited machine although equipped with both field winding and armature windings unlike si synchronous machines the field windings are excited by ac currents while the rotor has no electrical connection the rotor windings get current from induction which is produced by the magnetic field of the field winding hence the name induction machine also the induction motor is, is divided into single phase induction motor and three phase induction motor in the same way induction generators are divided into single phase induction generators and three phase induction generators now the second part of uh, electrical machines are the static machines now the static machine only has one electrical machine and that is the transformer transformers are static devices that transfer electrical energy from one side to the other without change in frequency now electrical energy is generated at places where it is easier to get water head oil or coal for hydroelectric diesel or thermal power plants respectively and normally these sites are far away from big cities or industries but the need for electricity is more in these areas only so there has to be a device to transfer the generated electricity from this plants to the main load centers also the generation of electricity is done on higher voltages due to economic constraints but the main but the voltages required at the houses and industries are not that high so the voltage has to be stepped down and then stepped up again for generating stations and that is done by transformers they have electrical circuits that are linked by a common magnetic circuit transformers are the main reasons why ac is more prevalent nowadays earlier dc was used in early phase of electrical production but tesla managed to convince the world that ac is a more feasible and economical form of electricity than dc and hence today we see that most of the electrical production and consumption consumption is taking place in ac the main reason being the use of transformer for stepping up and stepping down of voltages now transformer is divided into two parts that is single phase transformers and three phase transformers now this is this is just the first part of the classification of electrical machines uh, as you can see uh, the dc motors dc generators uh, transformers induction machines and the synchronous machines are further divided into uh, into key parts then we will discuss it in the next part which is the classification of electrical machines part 2 thank you very much
सो माई लाइक नेक्स्ट लेक्चर्स विल बी ऑन क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल मशीन्स पार्ट टू एंड डी सी जनरेटर्स इन द अपकमिंग लेक्चर्स फ्रेंड्स प्लीज़ हिट लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब बटन्स बिलो एंड प्लीज़ सपोर्ट अस